I don't mean to sound conceited, but ain't nobody fucking with me. I'm too high up to see your way down there. What's going on, man, fam? It's your boy God's Thumbs, and I'm back with a connected careers game mode right here. And if y'all remember, maybe a month ago or so, I posted a connected careers game, and it was the same franchise that I'm in now, but it was like a week. Uh, that was a Super Bowl game. I'm sorry, I'm getting confused over here. The game that I posted was a Super Bowl game for $100, so that's why I posted it to uh, let y'all see that. And I told you guys in that video that I played the dude in the Super Bowl before, and we had an absolute crazy game that was just... You know, high scoring is hell and no one could stop anyone. Well, this is that game right here. So at the very beginning, he tries to call AFL screen. I've seen that a million times. And I already know if he doesn't throw it to the freaking screen, man, he's going to throw it to the tight end on the streak. I don't know how many times I've seen that already. And sure enough, he did. I, get, I mean, obviously at the beginning of the game, he doesn't know my stick. He doesn't know I have I have a good idea of what it is. Look at this kick, though. He was on the other side of the 50. The 46-yard line of his own 46-yard line, and this man kicks a field goal. I, oh, my God. I was in shock. I thought this man was faking that. I was like, there's no way he's kicking this. There's no way. I don't even know how far that is. What is it, like 63 yards or something? He Come to find out, I go I look at his depth chart. I'm like, who in the hell just kicked that bomb? Go look at it. It's fucking Legatron, Zerline from the damn Rams. I was like, oh, my God, dude. So that right there is a weapon in itself. I don't know how many games, I mean, I could have won if I had a, a kicker like that that could bomb 63 yards and kick from the other fucking side of the 46. It's just crazy. Oh, man. So he kicks that field goal. And in this league, as I've said before, you have to punt on fourth downs um, unless you're losing at the end of the game. And you're allowed to go for a fourth down one time, any time throughout the game. And I'm not even sure if I use mine here yet, but I know I use it early. I can't remember. So if you're wondering why is the hell thumbs kicking field goals uh, like right here, like why would I kick a field goal on fourth and seven? I never do. That's that's the reason right there because I either A, I already used it or I was going to save it for later. So that's why I kick a lot of field goals in these franchise games. You got to play by their rules and whatever. So I had to kick a field goal or settle for a field goal there. So I'm still down by one touchdown. And I think this is a drive where like, I don't know if the momentum shifts or if, if I look at that catch by Torrey Smith, though, Torrey Smith goes fucking off on this game for me, though. And then you should, <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed who his running back was, but that's Adrian Peterson back there. So this man has Robert Griffin III and Adrian Peterson in the same goddamn backfield. That in itself is just a fucking nightmare, just like that throw I did. He's a sick-ass user pick by him, good bait. Um, he already knew I was going there. It's obvious because as soon as I snapped the ball, he was in the middle of the field and sprinted straight to that left side of the screen and just fucking picked me off. And right here, look at this. This is where it changed, like I was saying. I just do a pick six, and now I throw another one. He was engaged on a lineman, and my dumbass throws the only route that he could get to, and that's a drag. I throw the drag route because I know it's going to be open. And he disengages a block somehow and ball hawks the hell out of it. So that right there really ends up costing me. I'm getting my fucking doors blown off now. Joe Flacco's overthrowing touchdowns. I just had a touchdown on a bomb, and he overthrew it. Oh, so I'm, I'm pretty frustrated right now. I really don't feel like I should be losing this game. Uh, the first pick, yes, that he got was a sick-ass pick by him, so I was like, cool. But the second pick six that he got, no, not. that's just terrible. It's right there we throw up a problem fade. Um, I think it was out of iPhone Twins or whatever. That's when I had just started experimenting with that. And I was like, oh, cool, these little fade routes do work, but... Obviously, I threw it late in the back of the end zone and it somehow still worked. I don't know how the timing is, if it's early, if it's on the cut. If it's in the back of the end zone, do you got a pass lead down, left, up, right? I don't know. I think I just did pass lead. Uh, let's see. I threw to the left, so I probably did pass lead like down and to the right, and it somehow worked. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I got, I got the touchdown or the two-point conversion or whatever the hell that was. I think it was two-point conversion. So that was good. So now it's coming down to half. I need to score a touchdown because I do get ball at half. And right there, the Cole users come out. I can't hang on to the goddamn ball. Hang on to it. I didn't even catch it. I can't catch the ball, I should say. I don't know what happened. I think like the Y button, just like the ball hawk fucked up, the catch button right there fucked up. I don't know. So we throw up a fade route. We split the defenders and we get the touchdown. So with 50 seconds left, this man calls a fucking draw play. And 
Yes, he houses that shit on me. It's just unreal. Right after the kickoff, you know I edit out the kickoffs. So he runs a fucking draw play, and he scores a touchdown on me. Only, <laughs> it's so frustrating. So I have one timeout left. I'm not try I'm trying not to use him. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm reading. And right here, Torrey Smith. Let's go. Let's go. Too fast. We score a touchdown. We don't even use the timeout. We have 10 seconds. And right here, oh, my goodness. I wish that he would have fumbled that. I wish he would have. If he would have fumbled that, you know, and I picked that up and scored before half, he would have just been sick. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. I had to dive on that one. Holy shit. Jacoby Jones, though? That is getting strong like Bolden. I guess he had some of that Anquan Bolden, uh, Juice that fucking they have in Space Jam when all those <laughs> the Looney Tunes drinks the, the essence of Michael Jordan or whatever the fuck it was called. This dude had some essence of Anquan Bolden in him or something. That motherfucker, he never breaks tackles like that. But hey, I mean, we'll take it. We'll take it. That See, that's it right there, Bolden. That's what he does. That's why I got him on my team. Anyways, I'm still down two points. And you can just see, this is one of those games, I don't know if y'all ever have them where... I mean, you just can't stop your opponent, whether it's him running the ball or him running a pass play. And I'm sure all my opponents feel that way when I'm playing them. They're like, what the fuck? I can't stop this shotgun tight. It's really annoying. You know, over the hundreds of subs that I've played, I mean, they can tell you how tough it is to stop. Y'all watch me run it here and think, oh, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll adjust to that. I mean, you're just not going to have time with the hurry-up offense that I run, so... Anyways, this is one of those games for me. I could not stop this dude's run, and I'm sure y'all seen it like, God damn, Thumbs, where's your run defense? Well, the truth of that, I have no run defense. I have zero run defense. If y'all bought my guides, I have a like a suggestion how to run a run defense, but it's nothing's foolproof. Like last year, I had a run defense that worked every single time against every formation, and it was a 4-6 rush outside. And I think I would do like spread line, crash them out, and re-blitz. I don't know. I think two guys on the line. And it would work perfect. Could never get outside, and I would use it the inside and blow everything up. This year, hell to the fuck. No, that shit does not work. Adrian Peterson is doing work, speaking of that. God damn it, man. I just cannot stop this dude besides the two-point conversion. It comes in to be huge right there. So it's a fourth quarter. We got four minutes left. And right there, oh my god. He must have had that dude sitting in the yellow. And how do I get caught here, though? Look at this. How? Jacoby Jones, you broke the last tackles breakdown when you fucking pansy. God damn it. Two-minute warning is coming up. We hit the drag route with Thompson. I don't even know why I have that dude in the game. What in the fuck? I mean, he's fast as hell, but he can't catch. I'm surprised he held on to that. Maybe uh, Rice, I put him in the backfield for a run or something. I don't know. But anyways, we switch right here. You can see I have Tyrod Taylor in because he's playing a lot of fag D, and I'm like, hell, hell with this shit. So right here, I should have passed led that outside instead of taking that big hit. But we do somehow hold on to that. Huge, huge play. We run this in with Ray Rice. I didn't want to score, but they knocked me in. And then I go for two, and I don't get it. So now he, all he needs is a field goal, and y'all already know what's going to happen. He's got Legatron. He needs to get to his own 46. Not my 46, his 46. He gets to his 46, which he's already at the 50. It's game over. But... The dude takes a sack. We put him back to the 45. And then right here we get a fumble. Game time. Let's go. Oh my goodness. You have got to be kidding me. We already knew that they were going to call him down. So from the 17. Or 17. Anyway. Alright. Hold up. Look at this. I, this guy's been running delay drags all game. So I'm thinking. Alright. Let's put a yellow. All he needs is 10 yards. I go to the delay drag thinking it's going to be a drag or slant. And he hits me over the top. To Adrian Peterson, he pass leads it. I don't know why. He should have just fucking lo lobbed it, and it would have been a touchdown. He shouldn't have pass led it left, and he would have scored the touchdown. And I have no idea, none whatsoever, how Bernard Pollard caught Adrian Peterson uh, with a 10-yard head start. I have no fucking idea. Definitely should have lost this game, uh, but the dude used his timeouts. And obviously, you know, he could have kicked the field goal with the seven seconds if he wouldn't have ran hurry up. But I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. I'm out.